Good afternoon. It's uh, me, Sylvia Smith here of um, Incline Training Consultants. And I just thought that I would use this particular page of mine to share with you some of my experiences as a as an educator. Um, I'm about to uh, leave for Brunel University where I'm actually going to be doing some teaching on their social work program. Um, I will also be doing some teaching at Middlesex University on their social work program. I'm, I'll be working on the BA and the MA uh, programs. So I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to the teaching uh, on a, a consistent basis. I have for some time really um, thrown myself into into practice and uh, although I've been also involved in teaching but this is going to be obviously the most consistent that I've been doing in a while. Uh, my career as a, an educator, a social work educator, started way back in the 80s before I actually had my son and uh, I've consistently tried to run the two pathways of practice and education together and um, it, in all honesty I think it's it served me really well I've never really wanted to be uh, immersed in one or the other um, pathways and I've, I've really enjoyed being involved in, in both of them um, the other thing that's really exciting is I've got another student coming over from the States in January and I'm actually going to be her uh, sort of practice uh, teacher or coach. And she's going to be doing a placement over in Acton. And I've had one there already and it worked really well. So I fully expect that this one will work well too. And um, I think it will work even better because the project where she will be based has developed more services and I think she's going to be involved um, a bit more than my previous student was uh, in some of the new services that they're developing at that project. So I'll keep you in touch with what, what happens as far as that's concerned because um, the American system of training is slightly different from ours. Uh, but, you know, I I found it really, really useful to be involved in that aspect of it as well. So, as I say, I'm off to Brunel, going off there to do some planning with, with a colleague because uh, the program actually starts in a couple of weeks' time. And as is the way with, with, with education and even practice, um, there were lots of little hurdles to overcome. And I think we've managed to overcome most of them. So I'm looking forward to that teaching. And what, I will, what, what I'll use this space for is to, it's almost as a, a sort of a vlog, to capture any thoughts or any insights I have along the way as far as teaching is concerned because I I do think that um, it, it could get lost if I don't actually try to capture or reflect on, on what I'm doing, particularly as I'll be working with a number of institutions and, um, you know, things can get a little confusing if you if you don't track what's actually going on. So I'm looking forward to that. We'll keep you in touch with how that goes. Uh, I see that um, on YouTube, there tends to be a lot, of, um, a lot of material for newly qualified people or people who are new in the, in the sort of social work space. But um, I think that we, we need to also, um, for those of us who are very experienced in social work, particularly in the UK, we need to, we need to start speaking up. We can't necessarily speak about our cases and our uh, clients because of confidentiality issues, but we can certainly share some of our knowledge, some of our insights, and and you know speak up for ourselves because it's absolutely necessary. I feel, particularly as our profession gets such a difficult time um, politically and publicly. So I'm gonna I'm doing my bit. I'm I'm certainly not the only person speaking in this space but I'm doing my bit in my way uh, which I which I love because 
you know, this is mine. So I will do it in the way that I, I see fit. If you have any comments or any insights of your own, please do feel free to make comments down, down below in the comment box. Um, I'm going to use, as I say, this, this platform to, to track my own progress and also to, to share any insights and knowledge or issues that, um, that I think uh, will be useful for us to chat about. So um, have a great day and um, I'll see you soon. I'll let you know how things get on. I hope to do this in a more consistent fashion, but um, I, I do have to sort quite a few things out first. So see this as the first of many uh, conversations we'll have. Have a great day. Bye.